reporting for TTNHD Production Live here with executive producer Sandro Corsaro, who is also creator, producer, and writer on Kick Batowski, Sur Suburban Daredevil. Right, it's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. It is a mouthful. Ha, what was the inspiration for the show? Um, pretty much my childhood. I was kind of a boy's boy, uh, you know, running around, crashing this stuff. Uh, I lived on a cul-de-sac, similar to how Kick did. We had a lot of characters there, uh, a lot of different kids. And uh, just, like I said, always outside, riding bikes, building ramps, skateboarding, crashing, kind of being wild. So they say write what you know. So I kind of wrote about my childhood, and that's kind of the, where the idea came from. So you are most certainly a daredevil. I think I'm an aspirational daredevil, okay. but not really a professional daredevil. I think I had more aspirational than, than actually being a real daredevil, but yeah. Okay, and Kick is bullied by his older brother in the show. Um, were you bullied growing up? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was very small. I was, a, I was the shortest, almost the shortest kid in my class, a little bit of a late bloomer. So uh, you, you tend to have to kind of fend for yourself uh, being, being small in stature, but kind of having a big heart. And that's really what the inspiration for Kick really came down to is that he's an underdog and he has a really big heart and it really doesn't matter what obstacle he's going up against, whether it's his older brother or it's conquering Dead Man's Drop or whatever it is, he's, he's, he's up for the challenge. So you've created this show and it's almost on its third, third year. S third year, second season, yep. Second season. Yep. And um, how does it feel to see something that you came up with be being produced and seeing it develop, how, how does that feel? Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. I think coming in here to work at Disney and being surrounded by incredibly talented people, um, the directors of the show, Chris Savino, who works over there, and Clay Morrow, and the storyboard guys, and the actors, it's just, it's an amazing process to think that, yeah, at one point I was sitting there by myself drawing this character all alone in Starbucks ripping off their Wi-Fi and yeah. electricity and that yeah we walk through here through the studio and I catch myself from time to time like looking at all this stuff and just being like wow like, yeah. it happened so yeah it, it happened a lot of hard work Cool. and on the show some of the phrases are awe biscuits and showtime yeah, yeah. what where do those come from um, awe biscuits came from uh, Chris Savino. Originally, it was like we were trying to come up with some word that obviously wouldn't, uh, that would clear standards of practices. Um, and originally, it was the, one of the writers at the time had written crackers, and Chris kind of changed it to biscuits. We thought it was kind of a cool, cute thing. Um, showtime and like it's time to kick Batowski and all that stuff. That is kind of the pageantry of being kick, and I think of being a little boy mm -hmm. is having or thinking at least that you're on stage and that the world is kind of, that, that, that you're performing. And uh, I mean, if you watch kids like when they're playing a soccer game or they're, they should be playing a soccer game, they kind of sometimes are off in their own little world. And Kick has this world, I think, um, you see it in the opening titles, Kick actually looks at the uh, audience. And he seems to be aware that he's being watched by all the kids at home. He knows you're watching him. Um, so I think that's a lot of that comes from, um, we call them these tweetable lines. We try and come up with these, you know, kind of like, kind of like Schwarzenegger used to have in his movies or whatever, like, <laughs> chill out. We try to, all, we try and come up with these Kick Batowski lines that kind of, we think resonate with, uh, with boys and certainly resonate with us because we're all kind of 10 year old boys here. <laughs> okay, great. And what can we look forward to seeing in the future? I'm sure you can't say too much, but where do you see the show going? Um, the game has been really popular. I don't know if kids out there that have iPhones or iPads, the Kick Patowski app, which is free, has been hugely popular. And I'm always amazed how many kids talk to me about the games of Kick Patowski. Uh, they play them on Disney.com or um, uh, Addicting Games. Um, so there'll probably be more of that. The show itself, uh, we have a lot of celebrities coming up and some cool stunts. We have a. Um, a half hour episode coming up and some primetime stuff coming up too. Uh, some of the guest stars that you'll see are uh, guys from ESPN, Dick Vitale, Tony Kornheiser, Mike Wilbon, Dwight Howard's going to be on the show. He plays Rock Callahan over there. Um, Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas is going to be coming on. She's actually in the same episode as Dwight. Um, so there's a lot coming down the pipe for Kick. Um, we're finishing up, I said, like season two, which will take us through uh, 2012. 
and uh, it's been an experience to, to say the least. It's been a, 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 a critical and important life experience for me. Great. Tell me where you came up with Kick the Character. Um, I was, at the time, I was writing uh, my first book, which was called The Flash Animator. It was about how, to, how do you take Flash, which was really an internet tool at the time, and how do you use it to create traditional animation. That's kind of what my background was. And so I was actually in the Beverly Hills Public Library. I only go to the best public libraries. Um, <laughs> Fancy. I was, yeah, I was in the Beverly Hills Public Library um, writing away. And from time to time, I would take breaks because I would have to explain how, the, how animation works. And I would draw like an example. And I really just took a break. And I just started kind of doodling. And you know, at that point in my life, it was, probably about, it was about 10 years ago this month, I probably had drawn, I don't know, 10,000, 20,000 drawings in my life. But this character, for some reason, I just drew him. I drew him from the side, the profile that you see sometimes in the show with his, with his, um, his booty and his belly, and uh, his chelly, his chest belly. And uh, right off the bat, like, it spoke to me. And uh, I hope I have more moments like that in my life, but it was really what I would call a moment of clarity. Like, it all just came together, and it, it hit me so quick as to what this character was going to be, what he embodied, who his friends were going to be, the town he lived in. Um, and a lot of it I was drawing, obviously, probably from my own childhood, but it happened very quickly. But then it took me almost eight years to get that moment of clarity onto television. But that's kind of what a testament to kind of how things work in Hollywood. You kind of have to be uh, really determined and hard work and really believe in yourself. Um, sometimes I kind of joke around with people. I don't know who's taught each other more. If Kicks learned more from me or I've learned more from him. But that's a, probably a, a big part of the story is, like I said, just that one drawing anyone can kind of come up with a character but can you see it all the way through so that's probably um, it was an interesting day it took me five years to make the short that I wanted um, the original short which was called Kid Can Evil which turned into Kick Potowski but I did the whole thing myself and kind of when I when I felt it was ready um, I went to the networks and we, we pitched it and ultimately you know it ended up at Disney which was great so after that first drawing you couldn't draw fast enough yeah that first drawing just spoke to me um it's the character that you kind of see almost at the beginning the short film that i made is very similar to the opening titles with kick suiting up um and we were essentially uh, it was kick's attitude that kind of spoke to me and really helped inform the world that this kid no matter what was going to happen to him no matter what life threw to him he was going to persevere and he was going to be determined to do whatever it took to, to accomplish his goal and gunther his best friend that's actually who is probably more based on me and my childhood because my parents were European. Um, my mom was from Switzerland. My dad's from Italy. We had weird customs and just different things to do uh, than the average kid, which was actually really cool now that I'm an adult. But when your name is Sandra Corsaro and your mom tells you, like, oh, we have to leave our shoes outside so Sinterklaas can leave nuts and berries in them, it's kind of a weird thing. So there's a lot of Guntherisms that are in me. But, yeah, the, the characters all kind of came from... Um, from my childhood, and like I said, the um, the making of the short film was something that I uh, I just loved doing it, and it, like I said, I, I, it took a long time to do it, but it was a labor of love, and I knew going into Pitch the Networks that I felt I had something that was unique and something that I had kind of put my heart and soul into, so you, get, you give it a shot, you know. So where can we find more information, I guess, on the Disney website? Is, is yeah, there a Disney. fan page or something like that? Um, absolutely. Uh, so I just recently got on the interwebs. No, I, uh, I got on Twitter, and uh, I, uh, I check Twitter every day. I answer kids' questions. Um, there's also a Kick Patowski uh, Facebook page. It's um, facebook.com slash Kick mm -hmm. It's the real one. I actually look at it every day, mm -hmm. and uh, I do try and answer all the questions uh, for kids. And, yeah, there's a the Disney.com website if you go to Disney.com slash Kick Patowski. But if people want to interact with me, the best way to do it is usually um, on Facebook. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sandro, no and uh, best of luck with the show. Thank you. Thank You're you so welcome. much. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you thank as well. You. <laughs> I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live.